Today, we're going to be adjusting the clutch in a hand drill, model number H RH1531. Now, this gear case, as you can see, has been cleaned out. These guys had the wrong grease in here, and I needed to clean it out anyways. So I, I just wanted you to see all the detail of the inside workings, and it makes it a little easier to get, get a handle on what you're working with. Now, to start by removing your clutch, which is this piece here, you're probably going to want to shift your clutch or shift your uh, gear case all the way into uh, low gear. Right now we're in high, so we're going to go ahead and shift down to medium. Spin your clutch a little bit sometimes helps to make sure it catches the right gear. We got medium there, and then we're going to go down to low, and that that frees up that clutch quite a bit to free it up to pull it out a little easier. Now, sometimes you're going to need a, a crow's foot or a bladed screwdriver to help get this clutch out. Sometimes they stick a little bit. You can shove that right in between these two gears here and give it a little tug and your clutch should come out with a little bit of help. Now we're going to remove this gear case, get this out of the way for now. Now when you remove your clutch you'll see you'll either have a four prong nut on top which is our old clutch or you'll have a three quarter hex that's our new clutch now any of the clutches you have are gonna have a small shim ring right on top that's a spacer that's very important that you keep that and you set it aside be sure not to lose it now on the old clutch there's a special tool needed as you can see it has the four fingers to set into the clutch and that helps to adjust it and tighten it. Now if you have the new clutch with the three quarters all you need is a standard three quarter socket and your torque wrench. You will also need this straight cut clamp. Some people also use wood or brass in their vise as to take care not to damage your gears when you're clamping. And we need our guide that tells us 15 newton meters or 11 foot pounds we're going to put the clutch right here in this clamp on this second gear down to make sure care care to make sure you don't hit this other gear on top put this in your vise and firmly tighten as it so it doesn't slip when you're tightening your clutch now we'll place our torque wrench on grabbing just the handle and tighten until the torque wrench set stops. The torque wrench is letting me know that we're at 15 newton meters. Remove your torque wrench, remove your clamp from the vise and your clutch. This clutch is now tightened and it's at factory setting. You want to get your gear case back in your vise. And place your clutch back into your gear case. Find your bearing hole, line up your gears, and it should drop right in. Now to make sure you got a good seat, you can spin your drill and the clutch should spin with the gears. And before you add grease or put your drill back together, make sure to note that you put your shim ring back on for proper spacing. And that's how you adjust the clutch.